We're now joined by George Petrie, the Managing Director of Simbali. Welcome to the show, George. Thank you. George, can you start by telling us where does the name come from? The name comes from, uh, well, many people think that it's uh, a concoction of a Greek word that means contribution. And it could be that they looked at it as contributing to a business, using the system it contributes to the business. The reality is that the company was known or the product was known as Sales Vision. Right. And when we went to sell it into the USA, we couldn't for the reason is the trademark was taken. Okay. And we wanted to maintain the S SV logo. Okay. So we went through various words and with our Greek background, we went for Simvoli. Good name, very unique. Are you ready to pitch? Yep. Great. Okay, Simvoli, uh, one system for the SME market uh, giving them the power of enterprise resource planning ERP systems at the cost of customer relationship management CRM system. Let me introduce you to the company. The company is based in Camberley. It started off as a family run business and that family run business uh, accumulated something like 60 man years of experience in the uh, customer relationship management area. From that it has grown to add uh, a chairman who has 30 years experience in the high-tech area and a director who has 30 years experience in IT especially being a CTO of Ford and Jaguar Land Rover. <coughs> um, as I said and so these are the main people that at this present moment are directing the company. Let's look at the opportunity and what, uh, what we're trying to uh, help with. The marketplace itself, CRM and ERP, has grown from around £110 billion in 2016 to around £116 billion in, in 2021. So what is it about the market that's making it grow? Well, there's people are using different systems and therefore there's the opportunity to concentrate on one bit or the other. But the problem there is people are trying to do their business using disparate systems. That is adding to immense pressure on management when they want to make, uh, get reports out adding stress to employees when they're trying to help customers and basically leading to dissatisfaction from the customer when they're not getting the responses that they want. So why is that? Well all of these CRM systems that you see in the marketplace at the moment are contact centric. They all started from contact management, names, addresses, telephone numbers, uh, to-do lists, appointments and their documents. And then from there on they then set up apps to do specialist things like um, quotations, workflow automation, and various other. There's a myriad of apps out there that can address different parts. So what's different about the way we went about it? Well, we wanted to provide for the SME sector that we're looking at one product that is multifunctional, easy to use, and therefore the user won't have to have a single uh, one product and then go and add apps to it. How did we look at that? Well, after my experience of 25 years, I decided instead of making it contact centric to make it look at the way people do business, where they sell products and services. So the first thing that we built it on was a strong product configurator. The second thing that we looked at is, well, how do people sell market maintain these products therefore we put a process builder those are the two key cornerstones of the product and the contact information is after that how are we addressing the opportunity well we want to be able to go out and make it affordable to make it affordable we got to be able to make it so that it's um, pay as you go so people can put in their credit card and get started immediately. But to make it affordable, we also must be go, going multi-tenant. 
multi-tenant so that many people can be on one server so it keeps the cost down. Then we want to be able to introduce a store, a Symbole store, not for apps, but for business functions so that people can get business expertise, reports, documents, processes in various different disciplines that they're in. And lastly, be able to do business intelligence very easily without having to resort to having consultants. The market is served by the high tech sector, the high end sector by Microsoft, Salesforce, SAP, in the middle by uh, digital marketing automation systems such as Marketo, uh, HubSpot, and the low end is being addressed by uh, products such as Pipedrive, Insightly, Sugar CRM. We are looking to address the market. The specific areas we're looking at at this present moment are the IT sector, information technology and communication sector, and the professional and technical services sector. And in doing that, what we're trying to do is build strong reference accounts such as BookerJet, uh, Curveball. These are the kind of companies that we're looking at to really build them and be able to go have good case studies. <clears throat> we're basically also going for uh, key opportunities. Our pipeline at this present moment is very strong, but we're not only looking for one-off opportunities, we're looking to work with BookerJet to extend it. We're looking to work with companies to s for longevity. One of the things that we must address immediately with the investment is marketing, brand awareness and making people aware of what we're doing and how we're doing it. And also build up the development team so we can accelerate what we're doing at this present moment. We're looking to bring in... ...presentation. Thank you so much, great presentation. Uh, Steve, have you got any questions? Yes, you, you mentioned a trademark in the US. Can you tell me a little bit more about your traction to date? Where are you at the moment? Mainly we've, at this present moment, we're in the UK, but we've just got uh, a new client uh, who is in the power management er arena and we're just implementing the system. That will now take us into, I've got to remember, Ireland and Holland. And hopefully once that's implemented, it will also take us into Germany and Poland. So we're, we're looking to go further afield but first let's get it right in the UK and then move into other areas but it's in the UK mainly. Good strategy. Um, what makes you different from your competitors? What makes us is what I was saying in the presentation we took a stance that uh, we didn't want to go contact centric I mean without mentioning competition but I should do salesforce.com what was its unique selling point was that it was the first software as a service but it was still a contact management it was very contact centric we decided to look at it from the other point of view what do people what do companies sell products and services how do they sell them or how do they do their activities it's through processes so that's the cornerstones the key blocks within the system and anything to do with contact management is around that mm -hmm. and that's proved to give us the ability to grow across different functions whether it be front end, front end, front office, or back office. Mm. Uh, can I ask a question about the business functions you mentioned? You said we don't have apps, but we have business functions. Could you tell us a bit more about those? Are those uh, service? Are they add-ons that are services by humans, or are they automated? Or no, business functions really. For instance, you would take the sales, and I talked about a process. Then you would add the sales process into Simvoli. So that gives you a business function of sales. So it might be that it's internal sales, major accounts, um, different types. So by just putting in the process, you're adding a business function. For instance, customer service. You would have a process for customer service. So the same product can be used for sales, customer service, marketing, HR. You just build the process that belongs to that business function so you don't have to add on apps. And um, you're a civil engineer by profession. Yep. How did you get involved in this industry? Civil engineer, of, uh, in 1982, somebody said to me while I was in a consultancy, there's a machine in that corner, nobody knows how to use it. Would you like to find out what it was all about? 
and I started and got the bug and from there bug is the wrong word for computing yeah. uh, but I got the <laughs> bug and um, basically from there on I got very interested in computing uh, and with the process uh, approach that engineering has I'm um, process driven mm. the two that's how the two uh, married if you want there was a marriage made of process and computing so, and you stayed with computers ever since ever since <laughs> For better or worse, ever since. Yeah. <laughs> Probably for better. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's been, um, you know, it's been a journey that's always a journey of discovery. And you think, well, I've got this far. Um, is there anything else? You never stop learning. It is fascinating. That's the most that I can say about it. It's fascinating. Every day you go to a client and you see something new. Hmm. How did you meet your team, George? Sorry. How did you meet your team? How did I meet my team? Well, the first two is my wife, who's mm -hmm. in charge of finance. Second one is the development director, who's my son. Uh, so they got involved because basically they saw me doing it and <laughs> they got involved. Uh, the chairman I've known for over 20 years um, and basically, basically was my mentor. And he's always had either chief, chief exec positions or chairman. So. He was very interested in getting involved in the company because he liked what we were doing. Uh, the director, who's the CTO of Ford, was the CTO of Ford and Jaguar Land Rover, his wife bought the system for her company or the company that she was working in. Saw it, remembered the trials and tribulations that he had in large companies in running systems and said, that is just brilliant. I'd like to get involved because I really do think you've got something special there. So it's his experiences from the large companies and he saw what we were doing and wanted to get involved. That's a very good advert. That George, is. that's all we've got time for. Uh, you. If you'd like to find out more about Simvali, you can do so at Stakeholders. Mm -hmm.